Okay, now I'm, uh, I'll demonstrate uh, how to show solar radiation. So, so for now, I'll just turn it off, daily sun, and your sun and display shadow. So I'll just, um, I'll just show geometries. And then uh, I will go to Studio the Editor. Uh, here, what we need is we need to add a uh, grid geometry. Uh, actually, grid, in order to grid to calculate. So here's grid. I will switch to from uh, sh shadow settings to uh, analysis grid. So here, simply click uh, display analysis grid. That will show some grid. Probably does not fit with your site mode, with your site. So we are going to tra will transform uh, this analysis grid to fit inside your site. So to do that, first thing we have to do is we will select our site geometry. Uh, using shift clicking you can add more geometries so i select here and select here so i select all geometries and here um, you simply click auto fit grid to object so click it and you can select several options one of several options i will select within and i just let it as default and i select okay so now all other uh, analysis grid uh, which is outside of the site will be deleted the problem is the grid is actually too, the, each grid cell is too big. So I will a little bit change, I will manipulate that by clicking here, grid management. And then change this number to 60. Actually, the more the better, but it will increase the calculation time. So I just use a 60, it's up to you. And then again, and then after doing that, so I generate 60 by 60 grid. And also, it is better to have this one is uh, rectangular, not uh, it's become cube. So I will if it increase more. I will increase actually x to one hundred probably, and okay. So now it's more look like cube. So then actually I will click uh, auto fit grid to object, and then I will select uh, okay. And actually I have a grid inside my surface, my site geometry. And then and then the layer is very simple. Just simply this one is lighting level insulation spatial comfort but we are going to use insulation level which will uh, calculate the solar radiation and simply click perform calculation and then we are going to calculate solar radiation the first one and you can just work with it later and check about them later and then I select next and then for specific period I will choose starting date and end date and time so this one start from January 1st to December 31st whole year from 8 to 18 and so it's just roughly or sun or solar radiation over throughout the year and it's simply cumulative value so we want to know how much total you can just calculate average and average our peak values too so probably there are different purposes for cumulative we want to know total average probably but you would into to calculate average daily you may want to separate summer and winter and average case and average hourly, this is probably critical when you actually when you design shadow device because you may just only need a shadow on certain specific time and probably peak value is useful because you want to add a shadow where there are peak values so I just click next and then analysis grid uh, actually uh, you can do later with object and model if you're building and I just simply click this one and then perform I just go next and I just go next again, and then you can change data here, but I'll just simply OK. Then actually it'll uh, calculate the solar radiation. OK, so this is your uh, assignment. So calculate uh, solar radiation of with all different uh, actually volume studies. So now I'm ex expecting that, okay, once it is done, to really see that, just go to visualize, then you will see the result. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just kind of like, so, each student submit different, uh, submit solar radiation with different uh, mass volume. Some, uh, you may freely use it, some circular, curvilinear, or just rectangular, just, it's up to you. So let's see how does it work. So and then probably as you see here, this is actually you need some kind of a shadow device uh, necessary. Okay. Okay. Thank you.